We are about to leave Portofino. We're gonna nip the bags back and then we're gonna hit the park again with these express passes. Portofino, it's nice, it's tired. We don't think we'd actually stay here again, but if you've got this booked or you're thinking about doing it, don't let that put you off because we hadn't experienced the pool, we were just here for a night, and we've only done it for the express pass. People, tastes are different, but it's a little bit tired, but I think, obviously, if they're doing the fascias up, they're gonna be doing the inside rooms up, to be honest, so I think I think things will probably change over the next couple of years. But if you've got it booked, it's a, it's a, a nice hotel. It's just what we feel. Um, wouldn't rule out booking again in respect of if we've got a deal like we did with the express passes which is a pure purely the only reason we did it we'd probably still do it with the express passes but we'd probably do what a few people do and not actually stay at the hotel we'd probably just get the express passes check in express passes and then that's it but that's just set our opinion so i'm just going to set off now so the next time you see us will probably be in the park. Welcome to another day in paradise. Right, we've got some friends coming tomorrow. And actually, yeah, they're, no, actually they'll arrive late this evening. So we're just popping into Surfside to Give him a little welcome to Florida gift. So we're here again in May. Because like I said earlier, we're obviously we're at Dockside. We've been to Surfside twice and we do love Surfside, purely because it's quieter and but that Dockside does have I'd say better amenities. But I think this is what we class as home is Surfside. That's the parcel dropped off. And now we're going to hit the park and it's not supposed to be as hot today but it is, it's absolutely mafting and Sarah's brought a, a trusty fan again. <sighs> Scott Shaw. Please watch your step. Okay. We're on the search for a bandana, a universal or any bandana because I usually bring a bandana out with me just to dab yourself down a bit. I forgot it and it's that hot, I'm absolutely boiling. No, I don't want a cooling towel because I don't like walking around with them. Well, no, it's that's in my pocket, a cooling towel. I put it around my neck and I'm, I'm that hot, it ends up steaming. Do you remember that time? I put water in the car, washing the car, and it was hot. And you took a photograph and my head's steaming. Someone's water touches me, that's it, it evaporates. A cooling towel won't do that. I'm not walking around with a cooling towel, sweetheart. I've got street cred. They you brought yours? You don't care. You. Absolutely. <laughs> Do I care? Get a little headband look. You see, if it didn't have that monstrosity on it, I maybe no. I'm not wearing a headband. <laughs> oh, you can get a little one just every now and then. Just use it as like. Just, just slide it. Just, it'll just get that and wipe my head on that thing. Oh, look at that adopter pup. Yeah, this is what you 
Sunday. Dad, where that? Where? How much is that? Fifteen dollars. Bloody, I'm not where. Jeez. You might, like I say, I might as well just. Get a cooling tower. I might as well just get a plush and wipe my face on that. And that desperate viewers. Cooling tower. Three. They're from the other store. They're from no, here. here. Hi, boys. Yay! Oh, I love friendship. Okay, and the mountains where? Uh, this area! There we go, people. It's alright, isn't it? Universal on it. You're a cold dude now. Right, just need to find somewhere to dip it. It's amazing! I'm freezing cold! I need to go back and get in the warm. It's alright. Yeah. I think you could do with putting some ice in it, round it, or up it. You're dying for some green eggs and ham, aren't you? Yeah. I need to fill my water bottle up, though. Your pizza tops. They are actually supposed to be nice, that. Seen some did. Not bad prices. Uh, no. They even do vegan tots. So wants to go on the Zeus trolley five minute wait. Thank you. Do you just do fast pass? Do you just do express pass for this? Now, what can I say when I get home today? All the long way through town and all the way back, I look round and round and I keep careful track. The next thing I spy is the Hop on Pop shop. Tom's hopping on ice cream with cherries on top. As you can see, here in the heart of Seuss Landing is a carousel cell that's truly outstanding. And I see the trees, the truffula trees, the bright colored tops of the truffula trees, mile after mile in the fresh blowing breeze. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. From there to here, from here to there, fantabulous things are everywhere. And just look at that, that red and white hat. I'm sure it belongs to that black and white cat. And look out below! It's that new Magoo Zoo. Oh, what the zoo must be worth. It's the most wonderful zoo on the face of the earth. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do, I like them, Sam I am. And I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. Now we bypass two unbudging zacks, both stubbornly stuck unbudged in their tracks. Now keep your eyes peeled for snitches. They're known to love beaches. There's one down there, fishing. He's floating, he's wishing. He might catch a fish with a pinwheel-like tail. He might catch a fish who has spins like a sail. He might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly. Or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat. When we say that we saw it on Mulberry Street. But it still could be better. Did I ever tell you that Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she named them all Dave? Well, she did, and that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wanted one and calls out, Yo, come into the house, Dave! She doesn't get one. All 23 days of hers come on the run. Farewell to the sneezes at the end of our fun. No time for more. We're almost done. It's getting off that rad. It's the carriages are that tiny because they're obviously meant for kids. But you sort of like to tuck and roll to get off it. Sarah's still on it, they've got a crowbar to a blesser. 
I think they're calling for maintenance now. That rod doesn't bring you out into the shops, it brings you out into the cake area. Fudges. Rest in peace. Oh. They look quite nice actually, they're whoopie pie. I don't think I've ever had whoopie pie. Cotton candy? They're sort of like macaroons, are they, but not? I don't know. It's like a little cake, isn't it? Well, yeah, but colourful like a macaroon. But not so French. Oh, I'm telling you, they make it sound like she loves that. Okay, it's like a cookie and a brownie. Hiya. How are you doing? Okay, thank, thank you. you. How are you? It's warm. Yeah. Too warm. <laughs> It used to be a lot hotter than this early in the summer. It's it's yeah. down a little bit. Yeah. It's too warm for me. Yeah. Like that. Don't oh. yeah, want to look at Yeah, I do. <laughs> She's queuing for it. I don't believe she's cute. No! It one's waving at me. <laughs> oh dear Sarah. It's a video. <laughs> Alright, ready. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. Got it. Oh, it matches, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like one of those, but upside down. <laughs> I have no idea. Not exactly sure how I feel on that. The dad, the dog's tail pink. And it ain't got any ain't got anything on its paws neither. I think it's 20 degrees back home now, wasn't it? Yeah. Just stop something to eat here, I think. I'm gonna have the beef kebab and I think Sarah's gonna have the are you having hummus? So we, I did have a Shiro at um, the flame place last year and it wasn't very nice, but yeah, beef kebab I think, $15.99. So what we've got there is the hummus, dip, and chips, cinnamon sugar, and that's the beef kebab, which doesn't look too bad to be honest with you. And that was ten dollars an hour. Should have done the rest. We're at, oh right. Oh, it was a beer that was ten dollars an hour. That was fifteen dollars. Yeah, looks all right. So it's going to sit and eat these and cool off for a little bit. Love the talking fountain. My figurines of anything in particular. I did that one. What have you been doing? Have you been on any? Very busy in here today. Shall we look and see how long Hagrid's is? Got a feeling it's going to be a long one. Seven two. Gonna nip into the hog's head for a, another beer, well a beer, and uh, get some tips, see what else we can put on in our hog's head that we have at home.
So I don't know, you're probably unaware, we've got our own Hogshead Bar at home, which is uh, obviously themed to Harry Potter. We need one of them for our bar. Yeah, if you want to get a really good view of Velocicoaster, if you come to the Hog's Head and then go into the back, like the, the beer garden, the rear of it, and you can sit, With a beer. have a beer, and then get a really good view of the coaster. Must admit, Sarah was right, this cooling towel is a godsend. And it really does keep cool for some time. Right, probably won't see it because it's direct sunlight, but I think we'll go on that thing. It's very busy in the park today. But it's not horror night, so they're probably all in the park during the day that usually attend horror nights. Because during the day, it's been pretty quiet when horror nights is on. Done a, we've done a few rides. We've just come off um, Jurassic Park River Adventure. And uh, to be totally honest with you, I think there's even more animatronics missing. Yeah. Even more are missing, I say, since our trip in May. So that is definitely going to close. Well, they are supposed to be re revamping it. But it's good, it's still where it's going on. But don't expect to see this a tour cover explaining all what the dinosaurs are, but the dinosaurs out there, when you initially go in, there's nothing there. So, but it's a good one. We got absolutely soaked again, but you expect two on that ride. So, right, see what else we can get on. Villain Con. Yeah, I wasn't keen on that ride, but obviously, if you're coming out here, you've got to try it. Got to try everything while you're out here. That was really sweet, that lady there. One of the characters. So was choking, bless her. And she's she walked over and she's fanning her and she really looked after you, didn't she? She was she's really nice. So, um, right, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the room, uh, freshen up a little bit. Uh, my head's burning, I think I need some more suns. I've sweated all the suntan lotion off. And then we're, the plan is, unless it changes as usual, but the plan is we're going to go to our favourite restaurant, which a lot of you'll know is Cafe 22 Tango. So we're hopefully going to make it for the, well, we will make it for the happy hour. So we'll probably end up getting that sampler again, or, well, we'll probably get that sample and just mix it up and try something different to what we've had in the past. So, possibly the next time you see us, maybe there, unless we maybe just sit by the pool for a little bit. But I think we'll be pushing it because the happy hour starts at three, three till six. So it might be pushing it. So I can see it's freshening up, going straight there. But we'll see. But yeah, we're now exiting the park. Are you worried, Sarah? I think you need to get another drink. Go and get some more water. Well, you know, we said we're on the way to the room and things might change. Things have changed. Sarah, a bit of a coughing fit, so she needed something to like, clear her throat. So we've come to Margaritaville and um, Sarah's so what do you got do the. When you're nearly well, you do get drink, one of those. Yeah. What's that, Sarah? It might ease my throat a little bit because I was With the ice. That much, yeah. What was that you got? Palmer Breeze? It's a Palmer Breeze. She's um, two rums. 
orange, coconut and mango puree and it's really nice. Is it? Yeah. And I got the... Um, perfect margarita. The perfect margarita. Which looks with salt on it. And I, I thought I'd had one of those before but I've never had one. So, and then we're definitely, after that, going to go back to the room and freshen up, get ready for summer to eat. Promise. Got another one after this. We've just noticed the sorting hat. We haven't s hundred and... Oh, there you uh -huh. go. God, your robes are just there to handle. I know. That looked great 60. in the bag. Sixty dollars. And it talks and lights up. So we'd eventually <laughs> come out the room. We're supposed to be in a, the happy hour. I don't like that. We're supposed Perfect to be in at the happy hour well. at um, Cafe Tuto Tango, Tango at three o'clock and we've just chilled and watched a bit of TV. One thing that makes me really laugh on at the TV, the adverts, it's for all the drugs, the American drugs they do. Oh, the side uh, effects, are, the hilarious side effects are hilarious. It's like the ones for depression. Make you depressed. Make you depressed and make... But they do that back at home. Suicidal thoughts. They just like, do elaborate on it a bit, don't they? There's one that really made me laugh. It was for... Um, oh, it was for migraines. And it said, uh, could cause flaking of the scalp and um, diarrhoea. So it's up to you. You either have your migraine or you through the eye of a needle and you've got dandruff. I don't know. Don't what I'd rather have. But oh we're steaming up. Steaming up, steaming up, steaming up. Right, we've it's about ten to six and happy hour finishes at six. So we need to get in and get ordered within 10 minutes and it's just started raining we're at Cafe Tutu Tango we've just made it so there was no showing the foyers we're coming or anything like that because we wanted to be sat our backsides down here because we only just made it for a happy hour so and we've just made it you probably won't see it but it's gorgeous sunshine outside but it's absolutely yeah throwing it down probably won't see it but i mean obviously if you you've subscribed to the channel you know we love this place it's really quirky and um the happy hour we've just gone and ordered the everything basically oh. Thank you. And that's the first bit that's come. It's hummus and the breads. And then I've ordered a vodka blue drink. I ain't got a clue what that is because we're not professional. Just shows that menu. So. All right. So yeah. That all these, between happy hour, Monday to Friday, 3 to 6, all, each one of these is $3.22, but you can also get the full lot for $18.22, which is what we've ordered, and to be honest, we've got this before, and it's been enough for both of us, hasn't yeah. it? And you're a big eater. What do you mean? You are. Oh, six, sir. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you. These yeah, they are straight out, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, that what I can't remember what that was. That was a Cuban slide. That was it, yeah. I, honestly, if you do come here during happy hour, get the get the um, the sampler, and the, you know what you like to order next time for a full meal. But the sampler does us. That might be the Cajun chicken egg roll. Oh, I think it is. You. That looks good. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. That, that's what I ordered, the Starry Night. What's that? Yeah, yeah, I found that too sweet for me, to be honest. I'm not a big drinker. Got a plate? 
Shin Shin, darling. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Got to be quick because they're really throwing it at us. That is your fish, um, fish we, taco. That's a Cuban slider. That's a Cuban slider. Got one of them each. I think you. I got a clue what you did that in. We're not really. We don't like watching people eating, to be honest. So we're not going to show us eating. So, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's good. And the Cuban slider, Cuban slider as well, Sarah's, oh. and the hummus. Everything. Yeah, hummus is really ev good. Everything here is good. And then, um, I mean, we had Samuel and I when we came in May. We had the crocodile, alligator, green lizard thing. And that was abs that was really nice. Chickeny prawny with a touch of air. Uh, we're from East Yorkshire. Uh, um, I can honestly say everything in this place, for us, we like, and it's definitely worth it. If you like a tapas type, tapas, 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 my man's in the gutter constantly, tapas. If you like a tapas based cuisine, you can't go wrong with this. And in all honesty, if you like a bit of tapas, there's a place just round the corner. Ask your local Uber driver. Yeah, it's coming out really quick now. Half this stuff, I've forgotten what it is. That sweet corn is absolutely wonderful. It's got like a, a cheesy stuff on it. In all honesty, you've got to come for yourself and look at the menu. Thumbs up off Sarah, and then at the end of the tapas smorgasbord selection, cake pops. pops with ice cream and a strawberry. Yeah, you can have a strawberry. I can't rave on about this place as much as I can. It's uh, you can't go wrong with the happy hour. Yeah, but this this is this is on a different level to yeah. That that's your quick say. This this to me, I prefer this to. Um, but we're not big breakfast eaters, are we? No, I prefer this to Longhorns. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, and it's cheaper, a hell of a lot cheaper. We've just had that sampler for eighteen dollars, and we're full. Yeah. And the taste, the the the, the flavours. That the food we've just had has been amazing, and it's cost us eighteen dollars, not including drinks. And I don't think you can go wrong. And the atmosphere, and and the theming. And I'd I'd like to come here. I'd, I'd like to come here on the night. Could I bet late on the night? It's got a right good vibe to it. But. I'll try to walk, there's a lot of people eating, so I don't really want to walk around the camp. Like you know, like yeah, like back home, uh, there's a uh, yeah, you know, like brain jar and places like that. We, we do like quirky, and this is certainly quirky. But I'll, before we go, I'll, I'll try to get as much as I can, uh, film as much as I can of the place. 
but there's a lot of people eating, so I don't really want to walk around. Yeah, but if, if, if I don't manage to do it, look some look back on our previous series because um, we came here in September and then we also came with the kids in May. So she's pretty strawberry. Um, so I managed to film a bit more there, but if you haven't tried it, Capitoto Tango, I can strongly recommend it. Oh, even that strong. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go because she's she's at it. So that meal has come to $35, including two drinks, which are very good strong, cocktails, which yeah. were really good cocktails. So again, I don't, I don't honestly think you can go wrong coming here. I'm not sponsored by them, but yeah, we're gonna, I'll see if I can do some videoing, but like I say, it's very busy. That's a sort of I'll have a wander around hopefully and I'll show you. I might be able to do the live artist. Well not you know what I mean. So this is the live artist. But the artwork's amazing. Ah that is what we've got Sarah. Yeah, so it's the same artist. But it's really, really nice to see they've got live artists doing things like this. We've left the amazing Cafe Tutu Tango after buying some artwork. But at the moment, we can't decide where to go for a drink. It's, um, just before we went to Cafe Tutu, well, as we got into Cafe Tutu Tango, the heavens opened and it's starting to look a bit grey now. And you know when you've got that like windy, windy, like moisty thing? So I think what we're going to do, we're going to head for, oh, it's looking back in it. We're going to go to Wycom Park. We'll either do Star Bar. Oh God, it's thundering. Oh, things might change suddenly. We might go to, yeah. We might go to Starbar, or we may go to Tin Roof or Old Reds. And then if it does really chuck it down, we're going to have to get an Uber because I am not standing on international draft. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah, let's get to a bar. If there's ever a good excuse to get to a bar. Press the doings. Don't jaywalk. Why do you put the music? Oh, come on, there's no cars. Quick run. Um, tin Roof and Old Reds. We did Tin Roof, which is nice. But we haven't done... Quick run. We haven't done Old Reds, so let's go do Old Reds. To do, I think it's all sort of like uh, country and western and rednecky. Oh. But I've got the shirt on. Well, these, yeah. right? These, not sponsored by Timo. <laughs> Show the shirt. I don't. You, do you know when vloggers do all this? What am I wearing stuff? I don't do it. But seven pound from Timo. Island love. And it's it's all right. And <laughs> it's it's like an acrylic. So. It, you, you can sweat, it does Kate, soak basically. it through. Look at the monitor woman, you, you're showing me crutch. I can't see it. It's air, uh, it does, you, you sweat, but it just soaks straight through. I love it. I thought it was matching you. Timo. Anyway, back on track. I think, um... Oh, she don't listen. I think I was going to say it's that way for uh, all reds, but she's going this way. I'll just follow Sarah. We've made a decision we're at uh, all reds. All red, as Sarah's corrected me. And we're having the redneck Mai Tai, which is 
professional as ever, that thing there. And it's that price, and you get your souvenir glass and your yeah, refills of that. No more alcohol. It's what? Oh, that's all right. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so that is the. I forgot. Yeah, the redneck Mai Tai, and it's really, really nice. So it's got coconut rum, the can of black, um, mountain dew, melon liqueur, pineapple juice. The chat next to us is talking about uh, mixing, um, it was Captain Morgan Spiced with a drink called Squirt. And it's, it tastes like, um, um, soda. Cream, cream soda. soda. But I've never heard a squirt before. But when I asked him, it's uh, like a pineapple juice, which a pineapple fizzy drink, which I can't remember. Was it Tango? Not Tango. In the UK, there was a pineapple drink, like a punching used to get. Like pineapple juice. Well, no, it was a it was a soda. It wasn't just pineapple juice. It was just, the one tango was something else. I love it when you look at me, you blank. Anyway, all red people. Obviously, there's a band playing later on. I'd, I'd say going by that thing, it's uh, heavy metal. just about to hit the pool bar and we've just opened this that we got from um, Walmart and it's really nice it's like a alcoholic cocoa it's so like coffee. we're taking well Sarah's taking that to the pool bar but highly recommended it's like Bailey's it's like Bailey's but not but it's just a little bit thinner yeah but it's, it's very similar to Bailey's and it's a lot cheaper. That's nice actually. Yes you are. Some time later. Just back at the bar in Dover. We've been sat at the pool bar for about half an hour. We're now at the indoor bar at the Dockside. It's very nice. 30 minutes later. Are you putting me off now? <laughs> I've been told to be really yeah, quiet, I'm... so I've stood in the background and I'm putting him off, sorry. I'm going to end today's vlog here. We've had a fantastic time. We've had some lovely food at Cafe Chocho Tango. I cannot blow smoke up that place. He's whiz-wang enough. He's fantastic. It's a lovely place to eat, and if you go during the happy hour, that $18 whatever for the um, sampler, you can't go wrong with it to be honest with you. And also the cocktails and the drinks, that's all included on the happy hour as well. Um, I hate to admit it, but that monstrosity, these cooling towels. So cold. Sarah's right. It is, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. 
and she's really miffed because that actually stays cooler than the one she's got, apart from the frog tog no, that she's... No, the fr frog togs are better. The frog tog, you, you, she's had that for, what, well over 10 years. Um, and I it's... I've had it longer than that. Uh, longer than that, and, and it, it, I must admit, it is... The other one is. I've got is a bit cheap. It's a cheap one from one of the cheap shops back in the She don't want me to point the camera at It works. No, this just, this, just stick your hand in. This does work, this one. That it was one. a cheap one. It's but, like a tea baggy perforated. Yeah, but that one's better. But, that, but the frog togs even better. They are better. They are, the, the, they are at the 20, $20. But if you get the frog togs, get them. But, right, but that, is the view for this evening. The pool is now closed. Tomorrow, we're, I'm not sh we're probably gonna just do the Halloween horror. <sighs> We've had really. Probably gonna do the Halloween Horror Nights tomorrow. We're meeting up with some friends, a few friends, some Instagram friends, uh, some YouTube friends. To be honest with you, they're not just with the friend friends. Um, You'll know a couple of them, probably. Um, so we'll, we'll vlog that. Tomorrow we're probably going to just, tomorrow morning, we're probably just going to chill by the pool. Again, it'll probably change. But um, definitely going to do Horror Nights tomorrow, which will be our next episode. Thanks, I need to wash tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Would, you, would anyone like a washing vlog? No. No. So yeah, gonna wash the clothes, not ourselves. We're dirty. Um, Who wants to see washing vlog? No one. That's why I'm gonna show it. We're gonna. We're gonna. Who wants, who wants to see your smalls? We'd be surprised. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, so we're gonna do a bit of washing. Gonna do a bit of chilling. We may. Do a bit of video in at the pool and show what the pool's like because the pool is really nice. Um, and then it's going to be a, a late night for us tomorrow because um, I think our friends are intending on hitting Halloween Horror Nights rather hard. So and we need to do a good few houses actually tomorrow. We we haven't done three houses. We've done all of them apart from Oddfellows. Oddfellows. Yeti. Yeah. And the one I want to really do, apart from Oddfellows, is um, Strange Things. Stranger Things. Yeah, and those are three ones that we really want to do. I so want to do them more than once as well. We need to hit them tomorrow. I want to do The Exorcist again. Yeah, I want to do The Exorcist. In my opinion, The Exorcist is the best house of this year. Um, you, Which one was yours, Sarah? Last of Us and The Exorcist were on a par. On a par, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. So... But, and then there was, eh, there was that other one, the speak, oh God, the speakeasy type one, the cafe type. I can't think of the name of it. Blood Moon, the theming was quite good yeah, on it. Yeah, but it wasn't scary, was it? I've done that twice. It was a couple of jump scares, but I won't say it was like scary, mm. scary. You see, um, Sarah gets. I don't, I don't know which one you mean. I can't think. Scare, you know. Sarah gets really scared. I, I don't, but I like shoving air in front and just watching air run round like a a chicken with its head chopped off. But then, if a spider comes in the vicinity, you do get scared. But I don't like spiders. Spiders yeah, scare me. And, um, and it might not be politically correct, but you know, like sh really short people. I'm not talking like nods and debs. That ain't a Nods and Debs, subscribe to their channel. Um, but it's in, in a dig at you, you know, but really small people, like I'm tall, I'm six foot four, but um, that's what I'd never could go and see Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as a kid on a pantomime. You are thinking of Darkest Deal. Darkest Deal, now I like that. Blue musician Pine Straw Bruce meets at a crossroad with a diabolical entity known as the Collector to make a deal. He's so for fame. Now, I walked around that and I thought it was just like a blues bar thing. 
You like that. Uh, I well, I do like much. blues bars, don't I? I didn't think much to it. Anyway, we've digressed. So. Last of Us, the clickers are really good in it. Yeah, the clickers. Anyway, please subscribe, please like, please comment, and oh, another thing is, we've had quite a few people come up to us during this trip and recognise really us nice as subscribers, actually, and it, it's really taken us <laughs> because we think we're rubbish, and we really are shocked that people are coming up and recognising us and coming up and having a talk to us it's been really great meeting people haven't it yeah it's, but it's... lee has to apologize because he's not very good with names yeah i'm awful with he's names. lived next to people for the last 20 years and i still can't remember uh, well if you follow me on social media um i can't remember any of the neighbors names they've all got nicknames and unfortunately they're probably not pleasant nicknames and on the other occasion instead of I've actually called them by the name. I'm digressing again. Yeah. Please subscribe, please follow, please like, and please comment. And thank you to everybody that's approached us in the park and the hotel to say hi. We really do appreciate it. We're going now. And that lovely family in um, Walgreens tonight. Don't forget about them. Oh, yeah, Walgreens. Well, he came, in, came to me afterwards and he said, Sarah, I know, I feel I'm awful. Really sorry, I forgot the name. The family at Walgreens. That's why it's, you need me there with you sometimes. It's Monday, yeah, so the family. family that came to see us, they arrived yesterday. Yeah, it's about 11. There's about 11 here. Yeah. Um, hi. Yeah, it was hi. It's really yeah. good meeting you as well this evening. I'm sorry I've forgotten your name, love. I forget everyone's name. It's nothing personal, but it's really nice of you to come up and uh, want a photo. So again, digressing. See you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.